Hi guys. So this month, you know, we've been featuring the period book and had the awesome opportunity to sit down with a group of women and men to discuss this topic. It was so much fun. Yes. These interviews were informative, hilarious, everything. Yes. Everything you could think of. We laughed so much and learned so much about people's opinions and perspective, perspectives of women's menstruation and women's health. So it was great. We hope you guys enjoy this video. This is part one with the ladies. Yeah. So our first question is, do you have a period story that you'd like to share? I <laughs> the funny thing is the first time I got it, I was in church. I was in the choir stand and it wasn't like I was on a solo or anything. I was amongst my peers in the choir in a white dress in November, right before my birthday, right before my birthday. And it came and I was like, I ran, I don't even think I looked back or said anything to anybody. I just ran out of the church. <laughs> I ran to the house, which was across the street. And I was like, it's here. And I went in the bathroom and I knew what I needed to do. This is weird. But at a wedding, I was at a wedding actually like three years ago around this time. Um, again, back in Africa in, on, in Nigeria this time. And uh, one of my friends, aunts had given us these uh, like really like beautiful things to wear um and we're at this party and we're like dancing around it was like the traditional wedding um for for my friend and a young one of her friends came up to me and said are you on um and i was like on so i, I didn't know what that meant <laughs> and so I, I paused and i was like on on what you know and she's like are you on Right. And then I don't know how, but somehow because of the way that she said it, I just, it just clicked that um, she was talking about was I on my period. And I was just like, like both yes and like totally horrified at the same time that she was asking me this question at a wedding at the four, you know, at this like really formal affair mm -hmm. where we dressed in these really like fancy clothes. And I was just like, uh, yeah, why, well, you know? And so apparently you could tell that I was on my period um at, in that moment and so i was just like super uh, like afraid and like ran to the bathroom to see what what she saw that that indicated that i was that i was on but it wasn't that thank god it wasn't like there was a stain necessarily mm -hmm. um but there was like um i guess depending because of what i was wearing um it was like kind of obvious uh that i was on on my period if that makes sense Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you're telling the story. I'm here cringing, like, no, I know, me too. I mean, what like, she said, I was like, no. once it clicked, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. The worst so, feeling, like, did our dress have an accident? Exactly. That's what what? I was like, no, that, like, do you what see? Do you what do you see? see? What do you see? But no, it's just that she could tell that I was on based on what I was. So, yeah. Oh, all right. My second question Do you have, did you have a period talk with an adult, a sibling, or a friend? And are there any specific details you remember? I did have a period talk with uh, an adult, a relative, my mother. She prepared us before we had, you know, like two years before it came. Oh, that's And great. there was constant like preparation before it ha actually happened. Mm -hmm. So when it came, I was like, it's here. Like, <laughs> I don't think I ever was given a talk. Like, I think it just happened one day and I just woke up like in my period. I, I do remember like being like my mom, um, like for, like giving me like medication. Cause I, I remember just being really, as, when I first started my period in, my, in middle schools, when I believe it started, I just really felt terribly, like all, like the entire, mostly not the entire cycle, but I remember I can almost clock it like eight hours. The first eight hours of my period, I would just be like totally not myself, really nauseous, back pain, uh, just really irritable. Um, and my mom would, be sure to have like to get medication for me, but we never actually had a conversation about it. So I, I don't actually ever remember getting a talk. Um, I think maybe I, I might've he heard something about it, like maybe in health ed or something at some point. Um, that was like more, more like in high school. Um, but to say like, I understood what was happening. I don't, I don't think that happened until many years later. He was very specific about this is the woman's body. This is what's inside your abdominal area. It's, you know, this is the uterus. This is what happens to the lining in the uterus. This is what, what you're going to, what you're going to see and what you may experience as far as what you're feeling in your body. Um, like she explained, you may need something to relieve any pain that you might have, or she had things ready for us. Like 
the nice heating pads like was ready thank god um the only thing she told me the only thing i distinctly remember her saying is like do not wear tampons like she had like such a phobia like the thought of a tampon you know like so so actually for to be honest i was afraid of tampons because of my mom because my mom just was like there's like this huge stigma like i told you would tell, like do not wear them do not don't need that just the thought of it just she just made me feel like this was like a wrong thing to do uh, so I, I actually, I, I sort of like developed an aversion for the, the idea of wearing tampons because of my mom. So that's the only advice I remember getting. Only bit of information is like, don't do that. But she did prepare us in a way where it came, I knew it was coming and I was excited, but all that excitement was gone. After <laughs> all that excitement <laughs> is gone. The excitement is gone now. I'm not excited about it. I think that yes, women, it's great that we have cycles because we get to reproduce and create life. But at the same time, there should be a time frame. Like we shouldn't have to experience these painful cycles for decades upon decades upon decades and decades and decades. <laughs> well, then there is menopause next. So that's yeah, a, I, and that comes in its own. <laughs> listen. All the pain that I endured while I had a cycle, I would hope that I'm, you know, excused from that. Yes. <laughs> from the symptoms of menopause, whatever menopause may bring. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a conversation about your per period with someone of the opposite sex? Um, so I don't know if this counts, but I, I haven't necessarily had like a one on one conversation with someone about my period but i've had like group conversations because of uh the work i do with we deliver period i've talked about like the idea of menstruation um but not not in a personal way so no i don't think i've ever talked about it in a personal way with someone of the opposite sex yes it wasn't uncomfortable um it was my first boyfriend like in college and he would rub my back like you know it was very nurturing so having the conversation with younger children in a workshop, how do you think that experience was? Because they're not like, typically people have these conversations with people that are most more like their family member or very, very close friend. But I guess you're coming in as a mentor. How was that experience? Well, it was super fun for me. And I actually was surprised that the boys were more, were more vocal than the girls. And they're all like around 12 and 12 to 13 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, but the boys were super vocal and surprisingly knowledgeable. I remember asking, like what is what is the period like what, what how does this actually happen why what what is the process and one of the boys talked about like the shedding of the uterus and i was like wow where, where have you been um so <laughs> i was surprised that they were like so well informed and i don't know maybe because boys at, also at that age i think sometimes bold, boys i think are a bit more um i don't know if bold is the is, is, and also because we're talking about something that's super personal for girls they may have been more reluctant to talk and to share um mm -hmm. so they may have shied away from being as like transparent about their own experience but i was just i was struck by how like willing the boys were to just dive into the topic mm. interesting okay um so on a scale of one to ten ten being the most confident how confident or knowledgeable do you feel about women's menstruation mm, i think maybe seven i'm i'm confident about my own mm -hmm. men administration um i think people have different experiences have you ever missed school or work because of your period yes yes i miss school i missed a lot of school um in junior high school because of my cycle heavy cycles mm -hmm. in June. mainly i want to say i was 13 going into i was 13 in the eighth grade and i was missing a few days um because of the pain and if if i didn't have the pain i didn't mind the heavy flow but if i didn't have the pain and the heavy flow i could have um, made it those days you know and some days in high school work i missed a few days but not as many as like junior high school and high school i remember so um in middle school um and in high school i think i was I like so i actually really used to get very nauseous and just didn't feel well at all and I wouldn't really be that functional for like, and it would always be, almost be like clockwork, like almost exactly eight hours from the time it started until the time it was over. Like I would like need to be in my room, like in bed, just didn't feel well. I didn't actually like, like certain, like even my own, like, like perfume or like things like that. Like 
I wouldn't be able to tolerate them well. Mm -hmm. um, and so it was better for me to like not be among people. And even at, at, I've had um, times at work when I'm like so not well, like in terms of nausea or backaches, mm -hmm. um, or back backaches. Then I, I've had to I've had to leave work. So it's more often that I would. Uh, I remember in school, like in, being in school, having to miss a day or so. Um, but at work, it's been like having to like leave early if I if I really wasn't feeling well. Mm -hmm.